When people say the baby needs to sleep through the night, that's not actually true. Parents like to sleep through the night. Even the idea that we sleep for eight hours in a row is a bit of a myth really. It, show, it's not, it shows no understanding of what sleep's actually about. You don't sleep eight hours a night, you have three or four sleep cycles and what you've done is learnt to link your sleep cycles together. So you might go to sleep and wake up eight hours later but you didn't go to sleep, fall into a deep sleep and eight hours later wake up, you add three or four sleep cycles throughout the night. Um, you know, when you come close to waking up, that means three or four times a night. That's when you pull the blankets off your partner and roll over. You don't necessarily remember it in the morning, but that's when you come close to being conscious. Um, so you've linked your sleep cycles together, and that's exactly what your baby needs to do. They need to learn to link their sleep cycles together. There's no hurry to learn this. The baby's brain is growing so rapidly in the first 18 months, there is a case to be argued that the baby that wakes up two or three times a night to be topped up with breast milk is probably at an advantage. Their brain is getting regularly topped up. Um, but if we are looking at getting the baby to try and sleep an eight hour um, period, then un they understand straight away they're not really sleeping an eight hour period, you're teaching them to link their sleep cycles together. So a baby in a bassinet right beside the bed that starts to stir when they're waking up and you lift them up and put them on the breast or put your finger in their mouth or do whatever you can to comfort and nurture them and get, get them to go back to sleep, that baby's learning not to wake up fully in between their sleep cycles and so is learning to link their sleep cycles together. You're just going to have to do it with them. You'll have to wake up and nurture and comfort the baby so that they learn to link their sleep cycles together. Having a baby down the other end of the house and letting them wake up and scream is not helping them to link their sleep cycles together. In fact, it's doing the opposite. It's teaching them to wake up in the middle of the night and to get fully awake by having to scream their lungs out. When you ignore the baby and they stop screaming out, that doesn't mean they've learned to link their sleep cycles together. It means they're still waking up. They're just not calling out because no one's coming. And that's not going to do them any great damage. Um, but it is also certainly isn't doing them the good that people like to tell them themselves that it is.